And there we go. I'm trying to think how long I've been playing for. I've already rung the first bell. I'm not used to playing the game this quickly. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, we'll let this cutscene play out since it's kind of important and it's practically over. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now we'll slide our way on down. Get back to a bonfire. I was going to say Firelink Shrine, but then I remembered we can level up anywhere. And here's Oswald, the creepy motherfucker. Greetings. I am Oswald Lovecraft. Yeah. Now, I mean, I already have the gesture, but click on it anyway because it's there. And yeah, there's nothing I nothing I want. Poison bite ring. Eh. I'll buy it because it's there. Might use it. Thou art welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> I let him finish because I love that laugh. I love how everybody in Souls games laughs at the end of their dialogue. The more manic, the better. Right? <laughs> Who doesn't love that shit? I'm trying to think in Bloodborne, do people laugh a lot? I mean, there's a lot of crazy people in Bloodborne. So, probably. Now, I'm debating how I want to deal with Blighttown. I have the master key. I could actually skip pretty much all of Blighttown. I wouldn't even have to go into the depths. I wouldn't have to deal with the gaping dragon. I could just run straight down there, beat up Quaylog. And then I'd be ready to go right into Sen's fortress. Holy shit. Hmm. That's interesting. But then again, I don't want to skip too much stuff. Because, you know, that would be depriving people of the full game experience. But then again, I've already done a full playthrough of this game where I went to most places. And I went to Blight Town in that playthrough, and this is not good. That's okay. This is better. Oh, thank fuck for that. If I didn't get into the animation in time, uh, well, it wouldn't have been good anyway. Now then, we'll get the Estus back, deal with you. I want to run back very quickly. Oh shit, that was good. It wasn't even locked on. Then I stabbed him in the dick and dragged the blade right up to his chest. This is serrated and curved. That's not cool. You shouldn't do that to people. But, you know, we did. And now we're a terrible human being. So that's fun. Though Lord's Blade Aaron, there, yeah, Lord's Blade Kieron, I can't even say my own name, isn't human as she delights in reminding us with her dialogue. No, oh, you humans. You know, making sure to uh, imply heavily that she's not one of us. Which is, you know, fair enough. People don't like being misidentified. Now, see if I can praise the sun. Can we praise? Oh, we can't praise. Oh, that sucks. I want to pray so badly. Oh well. Okay, I'm just trying to think of where I want to go. What was the last bonfire we rested at? Well, uh, am I feeling lucky? It's like the Google option. Does anybody ever use that? Does anybody, when they're typing anything into Google, ever pick I'm feeling lucky? Though to be fair, with Google Chrome, that option is kind of irrelevant, seeing as how the address bar is also a search bar. Like, does anybody even look up the Google homepage anymore? I know, I sure as shit don't. Ooh, actually, yeah, what we can do is... We'll murder ourselves a law trek. Okay, well... I mean, she's still here, but law trek isn't. That's... That's disconcerting. Okay, we'll very quickly run down to the New Londo Ruins, and grab the Firekeeper soul that's there. At least we're not doing it at the start right now. So, yeah, there's that. And we'll come back up. Hopefully Law Trek will be there. And then we'll murder the fuck out of him. And... We'll have two upgrades to give our Estus Flask. <clears throat> Apologies. We'll have two upgrades to give our Estus Flask. And... Then we can move on to wherever we want to go next. We'll probably deal with the Moonlight Butterfly. Because why not, right? It's a nice, easy boss to murder. 
And no, I don't need transient curses on because we're not going to be fighting anyone. Have the homeward bone ready. Run ourselves on through and well, grab grab the shit. Pretty much. Now, one thing I've always wondered though about these games, and they never explain it, is and it's you know topically relevant given the fact that it's about souls. I've always wondered how these things actually work, like spending souls, for example. Like, wh where do we keep them? Are they in a pouch? I mean, when we consume a soul, it's a physical thing that we hold up in our hands, we crack it, it gives us souls, but... But, but uh, once we've consumed these souls and they're in the soul mirror, down in the bottom right, then how are we spending them? Like, what exactly is happening? Right, I'm gonna have to disable the 60 frames mod. Oh, it looks so ugly. Oh, I can't take it. Just... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's all smooth again. And I hit my desk as I was moving my hand back. Oh, I hope that didn't sound too unpleasant. Sweet. Do it again. Yay! I've never actually had my Estus Flask past uh, plus four before, because I've... At least I don't think I have. Maybe, because hmm. I was going to say I never beat the game on New Game Plus before, but that's not true. I did when I did the second playthrough for my playthrough, previous normal run of the game. I don't think I upgraded my Estus Flask during all that time. Now, let's think. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go deal with the butterfly. Because we can. Because she's piss. So that should be fun. Nice, easy little fight. There's Petrus. He's a dick. We don't like Petrus. But that's fine. We'll probably murder him later. Probably parry him, too. That's always fun. The parry is so satisfying in this uh, in this game. Just the noise, that slam. And just the sound effect, the sort of musical sound effect that they play when you get it off. Oh, so good. It's like in Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, when you hit an enemy, it plays a musical chord. So when you do a big combo, you're like playing a little mini song. That's one of the things I missed the most when I played Dark Souls 2, because, again, the parry mechanic is one of those things that they changed in some really weird, bizarre way. I never got used to the timings. I've got nearly... Hmm, I'm trying to think now. I've got approximately 100 hours in Dark Souls 2. That's split across Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. And in all that time, I think, I've only, I, think I could probably count on one hand the amount of parries that I've gotten. Like, in this video alone, you've already seen me do more parries than I've ever done across both versions of Dark Souls 2. I'll actually run across here and quickly talk to Sigmire, whom I love. Actually, in the last playthrough that I did to prepare for this, I uh, actually finished his quest. So that was neat. I've never actually seen that before. Hmm. 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 Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am... <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that line. You can just make sure that we've gotten all the dialogue. Do, do. There we go. Forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, love that. My other favorite line by Sig Meier is... What, what, what is, how does it go exactly? It's like, don't worry, adventuring is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. I love it when he says that. He's such a cheery dude, which is nice to uh, nice to see in this bleak, dark world. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require something, then speak to me. You can tell he's important because his mouth moves. It's not synced up at all with what he's saying, but it moves. So that's that's something. His beard also has physics. Look, it moves. So that's pretty neat. That's how you know how. That's how you know he's a badass. It'll learn his gesture. There we go. Repair our equipment because why not? I always spend money when it, well souls. I always spend souls when I come to this guy, just because I like to hear his line that he says when you uh, when you do. Because I love his accent. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Love that shit. It's like in Demon's Souls when you have Baldwin, the blacksmith who lives in the Nexus. 
I love his line when you buy something from him. So I always buy something, even if it's just repairing something for like a hundred souls or just um, buying an arrow. It's like, do come back alive. I need your business. Love that shit. But anyway, scooch on past you and our one spam you to death. Five hits. Five hits that takes. That's that's sad. Like that's really, really sad. Anyway, that item we picked up cures toxic. These guys nearly always drop something every time you kill one of them. They're fantastic in that regard. Let's see if this guy proves me wrong. He didn't. That one cures bleeding, and there are normal purple ones that don't have the blooms, and they just restore normal poison. If you're looking to get Twinkling Titanite, you can trade each one of those items with Snuggly the Crow, and they'll give you Twinklies. The Blooming Moss actually gives you two Twinklies, which is pretty sweet. That's what I did while I was working on this build. And then, of course, I was farming the clams outside of the Crystal Cave, in the Crystal Cave, I should say. Right outside where Seath the Scaleless' boss fight is. <gasps> One that didn't drop something. Made a liar out of me. Actually, I just want to check something. Yeah. Because I remember, uh, again, while I was preparing this build, just for shits and giggles, I was running around with these weapons to try and get used to them. And I did this. And it actually hit the guy who was under, under the ground. So, yeah. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to hit him. Maybe you can do a jump attack and hit him, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're just gonna activate this bonfire here. Oh shit, it's already activated, damn it. I thought I was just gonna have to light it. I keep forgetting that in New Game Plus, they're all already active. Because I didn't actually want to rest at it, because I don't think I'm gonna die. I hope I'm not gonna die. And I just wanted to be able to homeward bone right back to... Actually, no, it would have been a Firelink Shrine, wouldn't it? One of it, Jesus Christ, that's that's English right there. Now then, we'll run around the left here, not disturb anybody, hopefully. We'll summon Witch Beatrice, because she's going to shoot magics at the Moonlight Butterfly. There we go. I feel no qualms whatsoever about summoning the NPCs. I mean, I know some people don't like to. I guess they get an extra sense of accomplishment by being able to say, hey, I did this without the NPCs. That's fair enough. I, uh, shit, okay. I, for one, don't care. I'm happy to summon the NPCs, you know. Okay, this is going to be a problem. It's just as well I rested. I can't, do oh no, I can dodge now. Okay, well that's, no, uh. Yeah, you can't dodge, you can't run when he does his charm bullshit. So you're stuck having to wait for it to go away, and we don't have a shield, and I'm pretty sure those guys can't be parried. So... Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, let's run on in and fuck him up. Please. Alright, one spamming. Uh. Oh, wait, no, we're, the thing wore off. Okay. Fuck you then, dick. That is a real curse to any build that can't block. Of course, I realize I can block like this. I keep forgetting that. So, that's something I'm gonna have to train myself to do. There we go. I would have summoned her earlier, but the D-pad on my Xbox controller was being a cunt and not summoning properly. So, yay. Actually, let's just look at the stats on this. It blocks 10% of magic. Wow, that's that's gonna be... That's gonna be fantastic. Um, hmm. What about this one? Still 10%, right? Well, obviously these aren't meant for blocking. I mean, they're weapons. They meant for, I was going to say stabbing, but it's only this one that has a stab, so, yeah. Now then, I suppose all I can really do for this fight is just, uh, <clears throat> I was moving around in my chair there, I don't know if that shows up on the recording, but anyway, all I can really do is try to dodge all of her attacks and then wait for her to come on down. That was a great dodge. Fantastic. Did you see how I didn't get hit at all? Brilliant stuff. Again, amazing. I'm so good at this game. I don't know if that's readily apparent. Okay. Beatrice, you're kind of in the way. And then there's... 
Wow, that's fantastic. Could you uh, land, please? Okay, there we go. I need dodge before she shoots them out. Oh, cool, she's... Oh, that's shit. Okay, it's actually better to use this. Oh shit, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, well this is unfortunate. Which Beatrice, if you could uh, knock her out of the sky, that would be fantastic. Yeah, there, there you go, you did it. Good work. If you could get the fuck out of my way, that'd also be great. I'm trying to think of it, while the Moonlight Butterfly was down feeding, I probably could have been doing that. Oh well, never mind. The point is, she's dead now, and I'm not. And I'm very glad I summoned Witch Beatrice. That would have sucked if I had to do it by myself. So, yeah. Again, I don't care how I get past something in the PvE. There's no... There's, the way I see it, there's no point in trying to have a sense of honor when it comes to the game. No, the game doesn't feel obliged to treat you... Well, I was going to say treat you fairly. I mean, this game is pretty fair. There are a few instances where the game is like, no, fuck you. And Orlando Archers being one of them. But generally speaking, it's fair. Dark Souls 2 isn't. Dark Souls 2 doesn't give a fuck. And that's why Dark Souls 2 sucks. No, Dark Souls 2 doesn't suck. Dark Souls 2 is pretty good. I wouldn't have spent 100 hours playing the game if I didn't think it was pretty good. So, obviously I like it. Now here's another big question. Do we want to deal with the Hydra? I mean, we don't have to kill it now, but then again, you know, why not, right? I suppose we could. I have fought the Hydra like this before. It was the one that's down in Ash Lake, because there's another Hydra down there. And running around chasing Hydra heads like this sucks. It sucks so much. It's not fun. At all. Ow, dick. I thought from the way that I saw him that he was doing his uh, grab, but evidently not. There we go, just have to fix my glasses there. I got new glasses recently. I actually am um, <clears throat> here in Ireland. I don't know. I would imagine they have spec savers in England, seeing as how we're in such close proximity. I have no idea if... <laughs> I have no idea if spec savers is a thing in America, but... Um, they usually do, like, buy one, get one free deals, or buy one, get one half price, and throughout my life, whenever I got the second pair of glasses, I never wore them, because the idea is, I would pick the pair that I want the most, I would just wear those, and it's like, why would I wear the other ones, I've got the ones that I like. The other ones are only there in case anything happens to these. And so this time round, and since I do a decent bit of driving, I decided to get my second pair as a set of sunglasses. And oh my god, it is so awesome driving with sunglasses on. The novelty will probably wear off soon, but for the moment it hasn't. And I love it. It does make all the colors look a bit weird, though. Like, uh... Hmm. Everything looks... Well, I suppose more colorful. It's like... Oh god. Sorry, I was... Like I said, I've been playing Dark Souls 2 a lot. And in Dark Souls 2, you'd probably lose half of your health from that fall. And if it was a little bit higher, you'd probably just straight up die, because fall damage in Dark Souls 2 is fucking ridiculous. I don't. I really don't want to seem like I'm hating on Dark Souls 2, because I do like it. But when you go from playing Dark Souls 2 to playing the first game, and you see all the ways in which the first one is better, it's hard not to point them out, and it's hard not to make it seem like you're painting, trying to paint Dark Souls 2 in a negative light, which, again, I don't want to do. We're going to leave Havel alone. Because, like I said, I want to deal with the Hydra. Maybe after I've killed the Hydra, we'll uh, take on the Havel. And before I forget... There we go. That'll make fighting the Hydra easier. But yeah, with sunglasses on, it's like... It, it's like when you're messing with the settings on your TV, and you go to the color saturation, and you just turn it up. Not all the way up, but up a lot. Okay, I'm kind of hoping the Hydra will shoot its projectiles so it'll kill these bastards for me, but uh, he, she, it is not feeling in the most cooperative of moods. So thanks, Hydra, you fucking shitlord. Yeah, oh, don't want to get messed up by them. Actually, in the Ivory King DLC for Dark Souls 2, there's an enemy similar to these guys, 
like, ah, here we go. That was a fantastic shot. Brilliant work, Hydra. I'm so glad to have you here.